right, so I have a little bit more um, clips here. I'm just trying to keep you guys in the loop as far as um, what I'm doing here. Uh, so I'm running the temporary, just really temporary um, wiring for the lighting so I can see in here at night. You know, this is stuff you want to do during the day. <laughs> uh, so it's just temporary. So don't, I know I'm probably going to get grief about it, but uh, it's just temporary. So I just got it wrapped around the beam right there. Um, we recycled a old um, light fixture from an old from the old fans and I put an LED bulb in there so that's an LED and I believe this one is a what's it say this one's a 9.5 watt LED light um, I have my wire hanging here so I need to cut it cut in the middle there splice wrap it around the pole so it's nice and secure temporary and then come back over here do the same thing over here do a loop that comes down Cut it and then loop it around the pole and make it all nice and tight and then tight, you know, tuck up all the wires and do another one over there. But just to double check to make sure my wiring was good, I wired that light over there in the back, right? So I did a temporary <clears throat> wire up with the end over here just to double check. So I'm gonna plug it in right now. And, um, okay, so we'll plug it in. There it is. So th we got, you know, uh, I know the wire is good, you know, it's just, um, so that'll be one light to light up this room. Oh yeah, this one puts out pretty pretty decent light even though it's daylight outside. So tonight that's gonna be really nice to, um, you know, work around in here. So that's one light down. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it, splice in the next fixture here, which is this one, right? Just recycled stuff, um, splice right there. Um, tied up like I tied that one so it's kind of up high and you know temporarily secured and then I'll do the same thing over there uh, that's where I'm at right now guys oh okay so I gotta make a splice there the thing is is that I always give I give away so much stuff guys and sometimes it comes back and bites me <laughs> like I, was, I spent probably about a good hour just trying to find a plug to you know for the end of this you know and I'm thinking like okay I gave away like three of them and then um, these little temporary recycled lights I had like four or five of these and I can only find two and I have one laying in my little cabin that I'm living in now so I can grab that one but I'm gonna be short one because you know there's one there this one gets put right here I have one more in my house I can pull out and put right there I just got to figure out what I'm going to do for that back bedroom. Um, I may be able to dig through my stuff and find another one. If not, um, it's not such a big deal. I can wire these three lights up and then I can just make it where, you know, it's just temporarily tied up and I can, you know, if I'm working in that room, I can just throw the light over in that, you know, over in that side and let it hang if I'm doing work in there. But, you know, I'm not even in that room yet. You know, there's a lot of work to do out here and other things, other things to do. So, I mean, I could move things around. It's not a big deal, but it would be nice if I could find another couple more sockets um, just laying around, some recycled ones. Yeah, that would work. Oh, you know what? Actually, um, I'm just looking right here. I forgot. So I got this, right? You just plug it, you just screw in the light bulb. It's got a button to turn it on and off. Actually, I can throw this one in that room and it's got a button to turn on and off, right? And I can just let it hang. So actually, I think I'll be all right. So it's a good thing you keep all your old stuff. Like some of this stuff, guys, is like years and years old, you know, as far as like the, like this thing right here. God, this probably, this thing is probably like 10 years old at least, you know, that, that little work light I had, I have over there, the halogens, you know, I had that four years ago and it was already old when I got it. I got it used from somebody, you know, just save the stuff. So it's nice to kind of keep, you know, hold some of the stuff because, <laughs> You know, you might not use it every year, but when you need it, you need to bust it all out so that way you can um, work. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, put some more clips together for you guys as I get more work done. I want to plug my fan back in uh, so that I can stay nice and cool. I mean, we've got a nice breeze coming through the house, but this window right here is closed off right now. And I have two more windows closed off. So, depending on which corner of the house you're in, it gets a little warm, right? So, turn my fan back on and get back to work. Okay, so that one's wired up. This is all temporary, guys, okay? So <laughs> don't worry. <laughs>
I just need lights in here temporary for nighttime, right? So um, I went ahead and spliced in my next little um, recycled fixture here. And then um, I'm using these Cree LED light bulbs. Uh, I got a 60 water, 60 water. That's a 9.5 in there. Then I have another bulb in the house I'm gonna plug in for the other bedroom, temporary. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up, plug the next light in, plug it in over there, do a quick test, just to make sure it works, which I don't doubt it shouldn't, because it's pretty simple wiring here. Um, and then go to the next area, wire up the next light, and keep going. Okay, so we have our two bulbs plugged in now. And, Let's just plug it into our socket over here. And boom. Now we have temporary lights in two rooms. So we got a light there and a light right here. Actually, for this one looks brighter than that one. And this one's only... Wait, this one is 9.5 watts. And let's see what this one is. I know it's a 60 watt, um, oh yeah, 9.5. So this should be identical. Oh, I know why it probably looks bright. This one looks brighter because all those windows are, you know, open. So there's more light coming in on that side technically. And we still got this window kind of being blocked off a little bit. Either that or I've been using that light for about a year. About a year now but then I've dropped that light and thrown it around quite a bit but yeah so we have two lights wired up right there right there so now I can move my ladder over and do the same thing that I did over here right here and then um, put my light fixture on there and uh, keep going yeah, looking good. I'm gonna be happy, guys. Lights at night. <laughs> and you know, the one good thing I have really going for me, guys, is that my current small little cabin that I live in, right, is like literally like less than 50 feet away. And my solar system is on that house. So it was very easy for me to just plug a, you know, extension cord into my inverter from that house and just run it right up in here, basically. Where is it? Well, this one's plugged in too, but um, that green cord right here is just directly plugged into my um, my um, existing house, solar. So this is all running off solar, just like my other house is. So it's going to be nice to have lights at night, guys, really. Because, you know, you want to do this type of stuff during the day, so that way at nighttime, you know, you can do other projects. You know, like, I could have easily started with putting the electrical boxes in, right? But... There's no sense of putting that in right now because I need lights at night. So if I have lights, then I can start doing more things. So yeah, temporary setup, it'll work perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going forward here and I'll give you guys a little bit more clips as we go. All right, so uh, we're back right now. Um, I actually couldn't find any more of those recycled um, light fixtures there, so I actually had a, believe it or not, out in the trash. I remember I threw something away that had, it was actually an old dome light. And um, that's all it is, right? So I just busted it out of the housing it was in, and we just need something to screw it into, right? So I got that wired up now. So let's go ahead and plug it in and make sure all three lights work now. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be, I'm not, this is only temporary right now. I'm gonna wire it to a regular light switch. So let's plug it in. And there we go. So we got one light, two lights, and that two by four is blocking it. And three lights. So we have three lights in the home. So now that, I mean, this alone is gonna give me a lot of light at night to work, you know? So I'm super happy. Everything's just temporarily just strung up there. Um, just so I can see because we're doing stuff on the ground not on the roof yet, right? I mean the ceiling so Yes So now I'm debating if I'm gonna run another line. I mean I have more than enough um, cabling to run it in here But now the issue is is that I don't think I have any more regular fit like these recycled fixtures So like I was saying I may just end up using 
I may just, yeah, I may just end up using this one right here. Just drape it over and um, just have this one plugged into the socket regularly. And I can just wire this one up to a switch. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys here as I get more progress. Okay, so I have all four lights up and installed and working. Uh, so here's the first one for the first bedroom, just looped up around temporary, comes up and around, looped up and around, made my splice, goes across over here, looped up and around, made my splice, and then I just decided just because I had this other one that's already pretty much pre-made, um, I didn't have to wire it. Um, I just basically just plugged that right into the power bar and it goes right into here. So if I want to turn this light on, I just got to come over here and press the, um, you know, the light on and off. Or I could just leave it on and, you know, unplug it and plug it in from here. So I'll plug in the rest of the lights. So there we go. We have all four lights on now. Let me stand back. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. So we got here, we got one over there, got that one, got that one. They all get tied into this um, <clears throat> power bar, basically, or power block. And I got my fan plugged in. My fan. So this is all running on solar right now. So my house is still currently on. My, re my regular refrigerator and stuff is on in my regular house. And I'm just basically just got an extension cord running off the inverter coming out this way. Uh, so technically during the day I could just run all these lights 24-7 and even the fan but um, you know we'll turn everything off right now because we don't need it on and I'm pretty much ready now to continue on the next projects real temporary but that's all we need guys temporary just to uh, you know get us through the night so I'm gonna take a break right now because I've been running wires and looking around for fixtures and my LED light bulbs and all that good stuff so um yeah i'm just gonna leave it plugged in over here and i can just disconnect as i need or whatever it is so yeah we're good so anyway guys i'll give you guys another video maybe later on tonight sometime uh when i start the next projects that's going to be installing the electrical outlet boxes so i want to have to measure the distances measure the the height mark everything and then come back and nail all the boxes in and then uh we'll go from there so anyway guys uh thanks for tuning in um yeah if if this is the first time you guys come across my channel make sure you guys subscribe if you guys like my videos or you guys find it interesting or at least somewhat entertaining or whatever it may be for you uh, make sure you um, hit the like button if you guys have comments leave a comment and i'll do my best to uh, get back to you guys so um anyway guys uh see you guys in the next video